thanks again for joining me uh, here. I'm doing some riveting. Um, and uh, again, sorry I don't have a tripod. I need to get one. Uh, they're not expensive. It's just I, I got to go out and get one. So you can get some uh, time lapse here, but um, putting in these, um, these are the aluminum rivets, the small head aluminum rivets. Uh, and you can see I've got um, the sheet I drilled and I riveted. These are the stainless steel rivet heads here. And um, yeah, kind of got a tight work area here. I'm not, got some bikes over here. So I'm making, making do, but um, yeah, so far it's looking good. I'm just drilling as I go into the aluminum tubes. And, um, and that's pretty much just right over top of there and again make sure you have an inch and a quarter uh, from where your uh, this is the uh, this is the leading edge wing spar and the trailing edge wing spar right there so just make sure you have enough to attach it to the aircraft through the bolts so it's coming along going once I get get done with this side I'm gonna flip it over and then I'll do the curved top piece bottom piece is done uh, four rivets at the bottom and uh, I can't remember how many 18 long or so but this piece is done, and it wasn't so bad. I was a little concerned. Um, I didn't use the brackets, but I was a little concerned that it was, uh, or you know, not brackets, I'm sorry, clamps or Clecos. You can put in Clecos here too, just to kind of hold your place, but I did it fine without Clecos. The top might be a little bit different because you got the curved segment, so that might be kind of, you know, better to have everything lined up. I'm gonna try to break out my clamps. I only have like six of them or eight of them, so, I might need to buy some, you want to buy small or medium, Tom says, don't buy the large clamps because they'll get in your way, but the small and the medium clamps work fine if you want to get those little, uh, you know, clampy things that hold pressure on the, um, on the tubes, on, I mean on the ribs, and then, um, and then hold it, you know, against your sheetrock here, sheetrock, oh, my brain, uh, it's sheet metal, and this looks really cool, this looks really cool, so here's your upper camber of the wing. And there it is. So if you look over here, you see the trailing edge of the wing, um, the leading edge of the wing on the left, the trailing edge on the back. And so you want to make sure you put it on the right way. That would be bad. To, um, and also, you know, it's really key to make sure when you're doing this at the factory, Tom marks, the, the crew marks it. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it says right wing top. So you want to start with the right wing, which I'm doing. And you want to have you want to start with the bottom, obviously with the sheet that I just did. And this is it flipped upside down, and then you've got the upper camber of the wing. So make sure when you do this, go slow, so you know you have the right side and you're doing the right side. Um, and then this sheet right here is a little longer than the other sheet, so you can see down here in the bottom. There's one that's shorter, one that's longer. Um, so I've already pre-marked this. I'm just going to drill this one, and um, and we'll we'll tackle the top sheet, and uh, hopefully. Uh, that will go smooth, and then once that's done, we have these. Um, we've got a long and a short um, brace, the long short brace, and so I think the long one goes like here, and the short one goes further down uh, here and here. I don't know if, you can, if I got it in the camera there, but basically that's just to brace it up on the inboard side. This is the inboard side, and then the uh, wingtip side or the outboard side. So that should brace it up, and that gives the fabric something to attach to. And then from here, like I said in the previous video, I'm just going to measure 12 inches out from this from this um, outboard rib, or the, or the second rib, 12 inches out, and then put a rib in. 12 inches out, put a rib in. So I should have, uh, when I'm done, 15 total ribs, including these two. So these two plus 13. And then once we get to that um, wingtip rib, the last rib out there, then we'll brace it against... Um, I think I think we'll brace it against this compression tube right here. This compression tube is going to have diagonal braces that go to the wingtip, just to kind of give it a little bit more uh, structure or more um, bracing. Because I don't think the Challenger has that, so this is kind of a nice feature to brace up that last one. I think what they the tendency in the manual says is that the braces go or the ribs go this way, and they kind of lean in, and it just aesthetically doesn't look well. I don't think it affects obviously flight performance or lift generated by the wing, but it just doesn't look very good. You want them to be perpendicular. And so you'll see when I put the ribs on, um, you'll actually measure with, uh, with, with one of these guys, one of these triangles, and you'll make sure that, that the angle is 90 degrees. You want it to be perpendicular at the highest point. So, you know, same for these. When I install them, I'll make sure that that's the case there too. So, getting there.
All right, here's the finished piece. Now, I think at this point I'm going to um, tape the gussets with duct tape. I'll tape this with duct tape, get all the rough edges, and then install the other ribs. And then it's install the ribs, cover the ailerons with fabric, install the hinges, push-pull tubes, and the bell cranks, and the uh, wing should be done. Hey guys, another day here real quick, but I just installed the um, long and the short channel brace, and I almost made a big mistake, and that is I installed the wingtip channel braces instead, or the outboard channel braces instead of these, um, of these uh, inboard channel braces, and there's a, you know, there's a difference. So um, I'm not sure if I have to put a rivet on the back side, but I did put a rivet right there and then on the top. But I measured them, so I know they're 90 degrees, and uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal with the two rivets, but I'm going to check with Tom to see because you want to make sure it's obviously installed right. And uh, But yeah, this is going to be, this gives you a little bit of rigidity to it. And then I'll go ahead and put the other ribs in.